Today, we're going to explore how the multi-agent collaboration design pattern has been working in the field so far. I have tried a lot of the early experiments within this design pattern and have come away with pretty disappointing results. So I'm excited to look into these newer experiments and check out what they're capable of. If you have actually made anything with it, please let me know in the comments. In a dream world, I would ideally make an app with this, but I will settle for even a measly little feature. Because at the end of the day, after all the cake and watermelon, most people want to know if these babies can make money. Because that would change everything. Without going off on a tangent, if any of these display potential, I think I will devote all my time to getting a working prototype. Any tool that accelerates this kind of work will have huge returns on investment. So let's find out. Here are some interesting case studies that show this design pattern possibly working. There are three popular frameworks that allow you to set up multiple agents and orchestrate them. Chatdev, Autogen Studio 2, and CrewAI. First up, CrewAI. After watching this video, I learned that apparently Andre Carpathy dropped a YouTube bombshell about AI being all fast and no slow, referring to System 1 and System 2, thinking from Daniel Kahneman's book. System 1 operates subconsciously, enabling us to make quick, automatic decisions. System 2, in contrast, is slower, requiring deliberate and conscious effort to process information. Basically saying current LLMs do not possess the capacity for the deep, rational, system two type problem solving we aspire for in AI. The video introduces viewers to two methods designed to simulate system two, reasoning in AI, the tree of thought prompting and the utilization of platforms like Crew AI for a multi-agent collab system. The video presents a practical example where three agents, a marketer, a technologist, and a business development expert, are tasked with examining the viability of a product. Think of it as assembling a team of AI experts, like you're in a low-budget tech version of Ocean's Eleven. Here's a hot tip that I really liked from this video. Use data from custom tools with single source of data, like emails and subreddits. This will significantly improve the output's relevance and accuracy. Here's something else I learned. When using GPT-4, it costs her about 40 cents for each agent call which is not the same as a single API call because agent calls make a lot of other calls in the background. Another thing she does is use local models using a llama because she wants privacy. However, she comes across two big problems. These models apparently need about 16 gigabytes of RAM for 13 billion parameter models and like 64 gigabytes of RAM for the 70 billion model. When she was running even the smallest model on her 16 gigabyte laptop, Apparently, the laptop would just freeze. The other thing is, because of this constraint, the different open source models would give varying amounts of crappy comprehension of the task at hand. So, essentially not really working. The grand reveal of the performant local model. It managed to scrape Reddit, but the newsletter it produced had less factual accuracy than a horoscope written by a fortune cookie. So close, yet so far. Which leads me to think we might just be stuck with API calls to the almighty open AI for the time being. And also, I thought they didn't use API calls for training data. Am I outdated on this? And what about Anthropic? If you know, please let me know in the comments. Lastly, the video says, the output was slightly better than asking zero shot. But if you beef it up with tools, then maybe it's worth it. My rating, four out of five, mostly for ease of use. Next up, Autogen Studio 2.0. After watching this video, my takeaways for this framework were there are predefined models for agents and a capability to create agent groups for complex tasks. We will see if these predefined models for agents cover custom workflows. I doubt it. New features include predefined models for agents and the ability to create agent teams with more than two agents, allowing for more complex agent interactions. Here's what Autogen Studio UI looks like. Workflows in Autogen Studio now support group chats, enabling coordination among multiple agents for complex tasks. Autogen Studio does not yet support viewing the back and forth conversation between agents in the UI, requiring users to check the terminal for detailed execution logs. Also having lots of agents in the same chat could increase the potential for errors or miscommunications.
unless there is a robust mechanism for information and task handling. So essentially, the framework does work. It accomplishes the task. While the video showcases the use of these models, it does not deeply evaluate their effectiveness across different use cases. More case studies or examples could bolster the claim. Overall score, 3.5 out of 5. Mostly because it's a low-code tool. Next up, ChatDev. After watching this video, my takeaways were, ChatDev was developed by the folks at OpenBMB, which to me sounds like YMCMB for some reason. This is maybe the cutest tool of the bunch, mostly because of this cute interface. That gives 100% more quirkiness and 80% less resolution. And also for having roles like CEO, it's literally a little AI studio. Except the only software company where the CEO is likely to tell you, I can't do that, Dave, when you ask for a day off. After initiating the project, ChatDev's AI agents begin working together with the project's progress and the roles of different team members depicted in a replay via a pixelated interface. Who needs Silicon Valley on HBO when you can install and watch ChatDev and watch the drama unfold? ChatDev has three key components, roles, types of agents, phases, stages of a task, and chat chains, procedures involving different agents' phases. Users can also access a chat chain visualizer to see the prompts and role chains. As far as cost goes, it uses about 16,000 tokens to build a Flappy Bird app. The final code is in the warehouse directory. So does it work? I don't know, the video cuts off, maybe it didn't. Very suspicious. Overall score, three out of five, mostly for being cute. But ultimately, I don't think it's as practical as the other. So on a side note, some interesting first use cases that I saw while doing these were for content, writer, editor, researcher. A manager creates subtasks. A researcher searches online for each subtask and creates a report. An editor reads the reports and provides fixes. And a writer takes the reports and fixes from the editor to write an article. For business. Researcher, technologist, business development expert. Or you could have a client, designer, programmer, code reviewer, and product manager. Honestly, there's so many interesting and cool agent groups and pipelines that you could create. Really, your imagination is your limitation here. Basically, every system I saw today was using some form of central orchestration. The chat dev system also appears to use centralized orchestration, as evidenced by the top-down company architecture, from CEO to CTO to manager to programmer, etc. Crua uses centralized orchestration as well. Users define agents and tasks within the Crew AI platform, and the platform manages the collaboration between the agents. The process of agent collaboration is defined within Crew AI, and currently, only sequential processes are supported, where the output of one agent becomes the input for the next agent. The user instantiates the crew or team of agents within the platform, including all the agents and tasks, and defines the process of their collaboration. So it's like a pipeline, essentially. However, it should be possible to implement more decentralized orchestration with LangGraph. Agents could be designed to directly pass messages to each other based on their own internal logic, rather than relying on a central router. Supervisors could be more passive, aggregating results from sub-agents, but letting the sub-agents decide when to act based on the shared state. You could have multiple independent agent graphs communicating with each other without a strict hierarchy. Note on alignment. How can we have control and governance over these systems? When you consider the orchestration and alignment, it seems like centralized orchestration would be better because there could be a human in the loop at the center or at the top. However, with decentralized orchestration, alignment could be more problematic to solve as these systems could go off on their own without supervision and do a bunch of stuff. How expensive is it to run these? These are made with the current OpenAI pricing and under different number of calls. Assumptions and 1K token input and 1K token output. Final thoughts. I still think this approach is in its infancy, but with the way things are developing, how fast everything is happening now, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another breakthrough here very soon. Personally, I want to explore Devon, Devika, and Open Devon in the next video.